All right. Um, in Unicult, I'm going to get my sermon started here. Uh, in Unicult, we have a stated goal. We say, Unicult is a collaborative effort dedicated to the promotion of joy. Uh, I want to talk about that and our goal as Unicultists, collaboration, and using a collaborative mindset to overcome the negative aspects of competition. Um, I'm going to be condensing a lot of Unicult teaching into a section here. Uh, so Unicult's goal is the promotion of joy. Uh, we work to be in a near constant state of joy, and in doing so, we help others find the path as well. Unicol has described zero art as vibratory, as in raising vibration, uh, touching other people's lives and bringing them up. Uh, that's the goal, creating a world where we can follow our hearts, find the things that bring us authentic joy, the things that help us process any negative emotions we have, and work through past events and trauma, and raising up to find happiness, joy, and peace. Uh, this is done by recognizing the truth of all one, that we're all manifestations of the same universal source consciousness, that our physical bodies are lenses through which that source consciousness experiences existence, uh, that this consciousness is pervasive throughout the universe in all points of existence. All perspectives are equally important parts of the whole. Uh, by learning and putting this to work in our lives through our thoughts and actions, we learn to love ourselves, to nourish ourselves, and to act as leaders in raising each other up. Our goal is to find truth in ourselves, to listen to our hearts. This means overcoming programming and the narratives placed on us by society, thinking deeply and feeling within to find what we, it is we truly want and what the feeling uh, we are truly seeking is. Uh, finding our own truth is also about learning to love ourselves, learning to have unconditional love for ourselves, and forgiving ourselves for any perceived faults and recognizing and respecting our place and unique perspective in the universe. Uh, we can then extend that love onto others through the same process to see ourselves in them and respect their unique perspective and learn how to support each other in expressing the things that bring us joy the things that raise our vibration and in doing so lead the way to a better world where we're all working together and support each other in each other's joy. That's the goal of Unicult. Uh, that place, that state of mind brings us into Unitopia. Collaboration to me is about finding the aspects of ourselves that align, the ways in which our hearts are reaching toward the same goals and finding out how to support each other in a way that both fulfills our own whims and as well as those of the people that we choose to focus our collaboration with. I say focus our collaboration because we are all collaborating all the time. Everything we do contributes to the whole. Everything we say or do ripples out and touches the lives of other people who then touch the lives of others and so on. We're co-creating, collaborating, and building everything we see around us. If you look around you, everything you have was built through collaboration. People working with other people to produce goods, grow food, and build homes. Even our thoughts, uh, they were built through the thoughts of others and things that we've learned, even language that we use was built over centuries of us collaborating on what sounds and symbols mean. Uh, our natural world is dependent on systems working in collaboration. Our bodies are built of collaborating organs, uh, collaborating cells, collaborating atoms. Our entire existence is dependent on collaboration. Um, so uh, getting on track, the as conscious beings acting presumably with free will, we get to choose the focus of our collaboration. Right now here at church, I'm working in collaboration with Unicol. I'm working in collaboration with Unicol, sharing my thoughts and attempting to perpetuate my interpretation of Unicol's thoughts from their writing and sermons, which were in turn influenced by writers and philosophers Zia's had focus on. Uh, socially, artistically, spiritually, my goals, uh, that's the pull of my heart, is aligned with the goals of Unicult, and that's why I'm happy to give my life energy and service as an extension of myself. Uh, beyond that, though, what other collaboration am I involved with? Um, on a physical level, um, back to my body, um, we're in collaboration uh, with, uh, what are we in collaboration with in the makeup of our bodies? Our, our bodies are dependent on what we feed it and how we move, how we treat illness. Um, 
how we as conscious actors make decisions. Uh, do I want to be in collaboration with, uh, who do I want to be in collaboration with in the things that I eat? I have a wide variety of choices I can collaborate with. I can collaborate with the grocery store. I collaborate with farmers. Uh, do I choose to collaborate with the meat industry? Uh, for me, that's a no. Collaborating with the meat industry does not align with my goals of raising our collective vibration, nor does collaborating with other industries that perpetuate harm. Uh, so I choose not to collaborate with them. I'm conscious of my health choices and make the best decisions I can from my perspective. Other people may have other perspectives, but the best I can do is stand up for my own choices and advocate for myself by doing the best at sticking to them. I'm in collaboration with my workplace to help others, and in turn I receive a paycheck to pay for the physical objects that I have around me. I can choose the companies I collaborate with to create my home. I can choose a partner to build it with. I'm working in collaboration with the creators of OBS and YouTube right now. Uh, please like and subscribe to work in collaboration with me and getting us further along and growing our platform. Um, but let's focus, shift our focus from collaboration, um, from working together um, to achieve our goal to competition. As it is now, there is a disconnect between the true nature of our reality, collaboration between various actors from the same collective consciousness, and the mechanism our society uses to motivate us, which is competition. Competition creates disconnect from each other. It creates the illusion that we're separate from each other and need to work against each other to achieve our goals. It creates insecurities in ourselves, um, lies that we're not good enough, uh, how we are, um, that we need to be better than each other, that it's possible to be better than another person. In order to get ahead, people lie People commit acts of violence against each other, and sometimes the lies get so bad that we commit acts of violence against ourselves. Uh, we judge each other. We rank each other. Socially, sometimes we get so bad we reduce each other down to a ranking out of 10 based on how we conform to the expectations of society. Uh, we decide who gets to live in what home. We choose whose life energy is more important or less important. We choose who gets to eat and who doesn't based on what. Competition creates what it calls winners and losers and judges our actions into that binary. It creates a situation we need to constantly strive in order to succeed and even then look forward to our next chance to get out on top. Um, it stops us from rest. Uh, I'm just so tired of competition. So how do we pull away from that? Uh, the first step is recognizing that we're all one and putting that into action on the individual level. Who am I competing with in my everyday life? And how can I support them in a way that we can both succeed? How do our goals align and can we collaborate to create a future for both of us where our needs are met? Everyone should be a winner. That's the goal, that each of us feels supported and fulfilling our heart's whims. By focusing collaboration, uh, we can finally get some rest. Uh, it's in our best interest to allow each other time to recharge, to process difficult emotions, to physically and mentally recuperate. It's in our best interest to stop judging each other, to stop ranking each other on arbitrary scales. Everyone deserves a home and everyone deserves to eat. Everyone deserves a family and love. We can collaborate to ensure equal distribution of wealth we can ensure that no one lives on the street. I have hope. I believe in a future that we can achieve a world where we're all supported and believing it is possible uh, helps us get there. Uh, having that hope helps alleviate the feeling that we'll never get there. Uh, I'm making the choice to have hope. I believe that the systems that we have in place here can be healed through alignment with our true hearts that individually each of us can find our place to reverse the built-in competition and build a system based on collaboration. In the meantime, uh, before Unitopia is achieved, the best tool that we have in living in this society is love. Uh, unconditional love for each other and ourselves and learning to have forgiveness and learning to love ourselves and to set boundaries and protection. If we dislike someone, uh, we need to examine why we dislike them because the things we dislike are part of ourselves too. 
So we should move forward by seeing the highest in them and offer support and love for them. And in doing so, we're offering love and support for ourselves too. Uh, we're all children of uni and just doing our best and do not need to compete. In the higher realms, we're all in love with each other and we can reach toward that. Uh, one way of expressing that is when we give something to someone else or perform a service, create art, uh, we can give it as an act of love, not as a way to get something back, but as a service to ourselves. Uh, by seeing other, other people as an extension of ourselves rather than as a tra transaction with another, um, that we can, we can, yeah, uh, we should give with no strings attached. Uh, this ensures that we're not trying to get ahead of, an, of someone else and that we aren't trying to entrap another person into expectations of reciprocating something, uh, giving something up uh, that they need for their happiness. Uh, but finding the things that we can give that make us happy to create, the activities that give us energy to that bring us joy, and uh, we can give them freely without expectation. We fulfill our own needs and create a better world for others. Uh, reciprocation will likely come, but it's natural to live in mutual support. Um, but we should ensure that our actions are not contingent upon it. Um, so really think about that. Who do you want to collaborate with? Um, who are you collaborating with? And who are we in competition with? And how do we reconcile that? Um, I want to make a pitch here. If you align with the goals of Unicult, uh, being a collaborative effort dedicated to the promotion of joy, uh, consider joining or making an energetic exchange in support of us through your attention or monetarily. Subscribe to the channel and listen to some of Unicult's sermons. I want to collaborate with you in creating a better world and raising our collective vibration and finding joy. Um, thank you for coming here today and listening to me share my thoughts. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to share. Um, let's see here in the chat. No, I, I think everyone deserves love, absolutely. All right, um, so Unicult members, if uh, you would like, you can join us in the server for Uni Brunch in the video chat chill zone. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful Sunday. Uh, Uni bless.